Today I'm going to show you how to represent simple linear inequalities on a coordinate grid. Uh, before you do this you need to make sure you know how to draw straight line graphs on coordinate grids. So the four rules you need to know then, if it's y is less than mx plus c, you do a dashed line and your shade below. If it's y is more than mx plus c, you do a dashed line and your shade above. If it's y is less than or equal to mx plus c, you do a normal line and your shade below. And for y is more than or equal to mx plus c, you do a normal line and your shade above. So let's go over to examples then. So in example 1 then, we need to represent y is less than 2x plus 1 on a coordinate grid. So here's our coordinate grid. So the way I'm going to do this then is to do the gradient and intercept method. So this line has a gradient of 2, that's the number before x, and the intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis, is plus 1, this is the number at the end. So we know it goes to the y-axis at 1, and it has a gradient of 2, so for every 1 across we go up 2. So we just now need to think then what type of line we've got to do. So if it's less than, you do a dashed line and we shade below the line that we've just drawn. So if we do a dashed line going through these points. And the bit below the line, if you put your ruler on the line, the bit below will be that bit there. So we need to shade this part of the coordinate grid in and if we just mark the region as y is less than 2x plus 1 so let's move on to our second example so this time we've got to represent y is more than or equal to minus 2x on a coordinate grid so again let's do it the gradients and intercepts method so this line will have a gradient of minus 2, that's the number before x and there's no number at the end so the y-intercept is 0 so we know it goes to the y-axis at 0 so it starts off here so the gradient is negative 2 so for every 1 to the right we're going to go down 2 this time let's just do it back the other way So if we just look at our table now of what type of line we need to do. So if it's more than or equal to, we do a normal line and we need to shade above the line. So just do a normal straight line so it doesn't have to be a dashed one this time. So if we put our road on the line then, the bit above the line will be this part of the coordinate grid. This is above the line. And if we just mark the region as y is more than or equal to minus 2x. Thanks for watching.